Johnson, um, are you batting as, as well as you've ever batted in, in, in your career, do you think? Yeah, I mean, um, plenty of times I've, I've, I've batted, I've started batting and you know, people know me as Johnson Charles, the man who, who starts as a, as a blast, a blaster. And I have never gotten to such a big score. But I think um, but it pretty good and it's not about what you what you like but what you have to do and I think I have done what I'm supposed to do and that's brought me success so I think I'm I'm batting pretty good. What has what's been the uh, what's been responsible for the turnaround you was you were sitting and your approach to the batting? I think it started with the HPC. I mean, we, we've been working um, hard on, on our games back in Barbados and I think it's been the turnaround in my career. I'm also you know, hard working in that, you know, not giving up to that urge to always be blasting away the ball. I think the HPC has played a, a, a good role, a major role in, in my career. Yeah, God's willing. I think, you know, I've had two consecutive um, hundreds, and I think once I keep batting the way I bat, I think I could um, certainly come with a performance like that or even better on Sunday. What did you learn? Um, what, what, are, what are these two getting taught you um, in terms of <coughs> batting and you know, being able to build, to build it? Well, it's taught me that if once I could um, build an innings and you know, not just go out and, and, and blast, once I could build an innings and you no know, bat long, I think I could always get a lot of runs and, and move on. Pitch in different pitches. You've you got a situation now where um, you, know, you and Kairan have batted very well and today. How, how, what was our relationship you, 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 you built up in recent matches? Well, we both know our rules, and once we understand what we have to do, and we back our abilities, and you know, pretty much it's just deliver. Once we could, you know, assess what's what's um what's going on, I think we could pretty much deliver at any time. So what's, what's your rule? Sorry. Well, my rule basically. As an opening batsman, is to set down an, uh, a foundation for the team and see off the new ball and bat for the innings. And that's the same thing that Karen would have as his role. Yes. So we all aim to spend as long as we can at the crease. Yes, we, spend, we, we aim to, to spend probably the whole 50 overs if we can, but as much as possible and get around and see off the, the shine of the new ball. So were you disappointed? Well, yeah, I think the way I, that I got out was the disappointment, but seeing that I, I, I batted so long and you know, I set out this, the foundation for the team, it wasn't that disappointing. You think you're better able to manage you now being the type of uh, free scoring batsman that we know you to be and, 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 and being the sort of batsman to maybe build it a little bit better? Yeah, I think once, since I've done it twice, you no, know, it's, it's it's a learning experience, and I could, I should only get better from there. So, next couple of innings and, and future endeavors should be good. Darren Sammy was very excited, uh, you know, because he, he was texting and tweeting, and uh, you know, he was he wanted to, uh, he was listening to the game, and he wanted to follow it on screen. Um, what 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 sort of support has he given you? I mean, in your time in in, in, in the West Indies team. Sammy and I have have always been good friends, even out of West Indies, before West Indies, we've always you know, cherished each other on. And he's always taught me to just you know, play to my strengths and do what I know to do. And I, I look at him, I, I look up to him, I looked up to him even before West Indies, and you know, I could say he's just been a, a good motivator and good friend. Definitely because anytime you play at home, 
it's always a, a comforting feeling and you know the crowd sort of gives you this extra motivation and this this extra zeal to score because if you if you're playing away from home and you see probably 50,000 people coming and they're not cheering you it, it does play something on your psyche so if probably about 20,000 people come and they support you definitely lifts you up they read, if we read the pitch was supposed to was prepared as being uh, both favorable to batsmen and balls how much part did that play in your performance assignment the quality of the pitch well coming in from Australia where the pitches they come through a lot and they bounce a lot and come down in the Caribbean where it plays a bit slow and t um, tennis bombs. I think that taught me to just, like I said before, build an innings, uh, to be patient and once you could get in on it, then you could get a lot of, a lot of, lots of runs. Final questions? Hmm? No consistency has been a problem for the Western Reserve of years as well now. This whole two concept is that the start of a new beginning for the West Indies, but also for the for the back of the West Indies. Yeah, I, re I, could, re I could recall um, from an interview in, in England, in the World Cup, in um, Sri Lanka, sorry, in the World Cup, where I said consistency is one of the um, problems you are faced with. And all I'm looking to do is, is be consistent. And, you, know, you know, sometimes you come one match, score big runs, second, next match, you don't score, and all that. Just looking to score. Probably every match. That's my aim.